Okay, my name is Justin Lovett. I'm a documentary filmmaker here in Seoul, South Korea. This is our YouTube channel. A little creative, a little organized. Uh, today I'm going to be doing how to externally record with your Sony a7S III. Sorry, I just need to clarify really quick. This is how to externally record with your Sony a7S III in ProRes RAW HQ. So you can do this. First of all, what you're gonna need is one Sony a7S III, one Atomos Ninja V, one Master Caddy for SSD, one SSD, one HDMI to HDMI, one F-mount battery, that's the basic, basic essentials, but if you want a few extra things to make it easier as you set up, one small rig or nicey rig camera cage, I'm not sure which one's cheaper, one small rig arm, I think small rig is cheaper than nicey rig for the arms. One tripod or some kind of gorilla pod to build this on, or you don't even need that really, but if you want a small screwdriver, that's mainly for putting the SSD into the master caddy. Atomos also gives you a battery eliminator and an AC power adapter. All right, here we go, let's start. I'm just gonna start building the camera a little bit. Uh, for the caddy, you actually have to screw these little things when you put the SSD inside. I just got the cheapest SSD I could find. This is WD, 500 gigabytes. So with the monitor paired with the Sony a7S III, it will allow you to record ProRes RAW via the HDMI. And supposedly you're gonna be able to record externally and internally uh, as a backup. So the a7S III output is 16-bit linear RAW, but it is compressed and recorded in the Atomos Ninja V monitor as 12-bit ProRes RAW, up to 4K, 60 frames per second. And because this is gonna be Apple ProRes, it's gonna work really well with Final Cut. So anyone editing on Final Cut is gonna be very happy. I'm actually trying to learn how to do it now because right now I edit on Windows, but I wanna be able to use my Mac to its full potential. And another big benefit now with the Sony a7S III is its giant HDMI port now. So that's the goal. We're gonna shoot in ProRes RAW, but here I'm gonna set it up just to show you what it's like. And if I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments because with specs, I'm not the best. That's why I needed notes. I'll link also, I read a few articles on this beforehand. I'll link those below. So I'm just gonna build this really quick. So first things first, you gotta get your SSD in. This is their like caddy, I think that's what they call it. So you put it inside this caddy, it's pretty obvious. And then there's screws. So you have to, there's these tiny screws, you screw them in, tiny little screws. But first, you gotta get the SSD in. Oh, and the instructions, it said, install it when it's powered off. Power it off and then take your SSD out. Then you gotta slide it in. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all used an F battery mount. It's pretty simple. And there's a little button, release eject button here. I am gonna use a small rig arm. Minus the clamp. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, this is why you put it on a tripod. First, I'm just gonna plug in the HDMI on this side. Then HDMI out. I'm gonna power it on. It's Ninja. There's no input. There should be input. Shouldn't there? Oh, in. Make sure you put in HDMI in. I put it out earlier. I don't, I guess I was just nervous. <laughs> Here we go, let's start checking this out. So I'm pretty sure, okay, there you go. External output, control for HDMI on. Yep, HDMI input display on. Record media during HDMI output. Raw output on. 
connect to the device that supports raw movies, output of camera, okay. Information, HDMI raw signals detected. ProRes raw codec selection is required to view the signal. Press okay to continue with ProRes raw. Press cancel to keep current codec selection. Let's go to okay. Go to Atomos. Apple Pro is raw and have a DNA activation. Activate your choice of codec to unlock the full capability of your camera and Atomos monitor recorder. Apple Pro is raw and have a DNX are optional free codecs you can add to your compatible Atomos device. See compatibility list below. You only need to activate the codec, codec you want one time. After that, it will be available for the lifetime of the product. Before activating these, we advise that you install the latest version of Atomos OS for your devices available to download via atomos.com support forward slash support. So I can do 30p, 50i, HD, actually I do need 50i, <laughs> 4K UHD, 30p. I'll put this link below so you can read all this information. Apple ProRes RAW codecs are available on Ninja V. That's what we have, great. For the one-time activation of these codecs, you'll need to provide your email address and the unique device ID that can be located within the Atomos, Atom OS menus on your device. So to generate my activation code, enter your email address and did. I, and then I have to enter my device ID. I think it worked. <laughs> Tap the codec icon on the top of the screen to open the codec selection menu. So here we go. Okay, I had to format my the SSD first. So it's recording now, ProRes RAW HQ. Stop. So we're gonna shoot in ProRes RAW HQ, 4.2K, 59.94 frames per second. Here we go. Whoa. And I can dual record. So I'm shooting X, XAVCS 4K, 60 frames per second, 422, 10-bit on the CF Express card internally. And then on the monitor, I'm shooting in ProRes RAW HQ, 4.2K, 59 frames per second. So let's see how this, I guess I'll just, I'm just gonna do a selfie quick. Ooh, this is getting warm. ProRes RAW HQ, this is it. Okay, thanks guys for watching. So when I originally shot this, it was shooting in ProRes RAW HQ, 4K 60 frames per second. And my SSD wasn't fast enough, writing fast enough to be able to keep recording. So it kept recording like short clips, six seconds, four seconds. So I switched it to uh, 24 frames per second and now it's working fine. I am dual recording as well, so. I'll... The only other thing to know, when you edit this footage, the ProRes RAW HQ footage in Final Cut, you need to make sure you're editing in wide gamma HDR. Click on your library. Click on the info inspection tab, top right corner, modify wide gamma HDR. Then you can edit it. Um, otherwise, it will clip your highlights and stuff like that. I almost forgot. We can, you know, shoot something that's totally overexposed and still bring detail out. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see what this is like. I'm gonna burn this out a little bit. Raise the ISO to, or ISO. I mean, this is pretty overexposed. So usually if you're shooting like on a normal camera, you wouldn't be able to use this at all. You just delete the file. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to pull these highlights down and have usable footage. So let's go see. I mean, you'll probably see by now. If, I hope it worked. <laughs> okay, I think that is it. That is not it. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> That's so crazy. Apple ProRes RAW HQ. You can literally do anything with it. This is so cool. I'm so excited. The only other thing I forgot to mention too was that I'm shooting Apple Pro as RAW HQ, 24 frames per second. One minute is about 10 gigabytes. I shot about three gigabytes there and it, it was 30 gigabytes. So it does take up space really fast. And you know, I don't wanna buy terabytes of hard drives so it's probably only gonna be on very specific occasions that I use this. But wow, <laughs> it's so crazy. I can't believe that. 
was possible. Uh, so, man, just so much information, so much detail. You can do whatever you want with this. But this is the end of the video. If you loved it, please like it, subscribe, ring the bell, buy our merch. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have more tips, please put in the comments because I am still learning. I need to know more about this. Stop.